I just push a little cool commit here on our PWD module that adds spawn blocking on the hash and validate function. And that is an optimization from our Argon2 previous episode, where we added the multi-scheme password hashing with Argon2 as our second scheme. And there were cool comments in the YouTube that says that Argon will block the async executor. And it has nothing to do with Argon2 per se, but any long lasting actions that doesn't yield to the executor, that doesn't have any non-blocking IO or something like that, then will hold the thread for the duration of the work. And so the problem is once it holds these threads, then all tasks waiting on that thread cannot be moved to other threads. And then moreover, if we have multiple users logging at the same time, all the thread will be taken anyway by the long working, and then the smaller task will have to wait longer. So it doesn't break anything, but we can do better and we can do a little optimization, which is by using the spawn blocking. And the spawn blocking tells Tokyo that whatever we're going to give in the task should be considered as a long running, and therefore, Tokyo will put this task in a special thread pool, such as it doesn't hinder the other smaller task that can be run in the normal thread pools. So that is what I've done in this commit. So now if we look at the code, we had two strategies to do it. One is to do it in the web server source, which is, is the web server that when it will validate the password or hash the password, will do the spawn blocking. Or the second option, which is the one I've taken, is go to the module, the PWD module, keep the schemes and everything non-async, so all of those are sync, because they just do the work, but the public function, which is a hash PWD and the validate PWD, will be async now. For example, if we look at the hash, now the hash is going to be a spawn blocking, and it's going to call the private function below, which is sync, which is a hash for scheme. And then I just added a little error here, which basically map the spawn blocking errors. And then we just do the question mark, such as we can return the result of string. And then if we look at our validate password, here's the same thing. We do the spawn blocking, and then we have our validate for scheme, and then we give our scheme names and everything. And then I have an error here again, which is fair spawn block for validate. Then we do a two question mark. The first one is for the spawn blocking error. And the second one is going to be the eventual validate error, because then we're going to do the OK scheme status. And then that's it. Just like that, we optimize our code to make sure that this long task can be scheduled in their own thread pools. OK, hope you liked it. Until next one, happy coding.